Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And let's get into this. So I'm just going to get some energy. <clears throat> See what's going on. Gemini today. Gemini today. Okay, bottom of the deck, boundaries. Top of the deck, reconciliation. Let's see. Let's get one more. Online. Okay, so let's see. Local travel. So some of you guys may be traveling. Okay, local travel. Many local vacation, getting out more. A romantic weekend ahead or having to drive more. Okay, so some of you guys may be traveling locally. Boundaries. Your boundaries are being tested. Hmm. Not surrendering, standing firm. Standing your ground, staying true to yourself, okay? So this gives me like nine of wands in, uh, energy, Sagittarius energy, okay? So somebody may be trying to test your boundaries or trying to get around your boundaries or trying to persuade you to do something that you don't necessarily want to do. Reconciliation, restoration of former connections, apologies, forgiveness, trying again in a different way, conversations, okay? So I might maybe trying to force a reconciliation that you don't really want. Okay, but we'll see. And online. Being active on social media. Strong social media presence. Influencer. Emails. Online dating. Online business. Okay. Let's see. I 100% feel like if somebody's trying to test your boundaries, it won't end, it won't end well for them. Because Gemini's just typically do not like being told what to do, um, and they don't like being pressured into trying to make them do something that they don't want to do. That will for sure bring out that other twin. Clarify boundaries. <clears throat> These boundaries, okay? Five of Wands, the Sun. So I feel like <clears throat> somebody may be pushing boundaries around a parental situation or around a child situation. Um, I feel like somebody may be telling you, hey, you'll be happier if you do things this way, even though you ha have, are telling them that you don't want to do it that way. Um, <clears throat> Somebody may be trying to see the empress. Definitely, I'm getting a mother-child situation. I'm getting a mother-child situation. So you may be trying to move with a child locally, move house, move apartment, move across the city. Um, I feel like you're trying to move. And it's this is clearly, okay. It's, it, it's so clear here if you just look at this. I definitely feel like this is a parental situation, okay? I feel like you're trying to leave or trying to move, okay? And as you can see, this person is upset about it, okay? Um, you see the bags packed in the car. I feel like this has to do with a child, okay? A child is in the mix here, Leo energy. You may be trying to leave and take your child or leave and take a child, okay? And um, this person is trying to stop you. 
okay? Definitely feel like, I mean, this is just a mother-child situation with this Empress card out here, definitely, okay? This person may be trying to get you to stay or get you to reconcile with them, but I feel like you don't want to, okay? For some of you, okay? For some of you, if this reconciliation is tied to this energy right here, um, I feel like you don't want to reconcile with this person, okay? You just want to kind of take your child and just move on. What's this five of wands? Yeah, you're trying to leave a relationship. Taurus energy, you're trying to leave a relationship. Could have been a marriage, but there's definitely children involved. You're trying to leave, yeah. Bottom of the deck, ten of pentacles. Queen of cups. So I feel like you know in your heart of hearts that you are supposed to leave this uh, connection or leave this relationship, okay? Um... Could be dealing with a Libra. I always read uh, the Empress as Libra or Taurus. Um, could definitely be dealing with a um, Taurus, though, with this higher for energy. This person may be trying to get you to do couples counseling, okay? Or maybe or, or maybe pushing the whole counseling route, okay? But I definitely feel like this is somebody who's trying to leave a relationship and trying to take a child, okay? They may be accusing you of trying to keep the child from them, okay? They also may be trying to keep money from you. So that you're not able to move on with this child, okay? You may have caught this person with a lover, Gemini energy. Clarify reconciliation. Clarify reconciliation. Seven of Swords. So I feel like this person is trying to reconcile with you after being... Uh, deceptive in some way this person was sneaky in some way and whatever way they were sneaking I feel like this person was was sneaking out on you or tipping out on you okay whatever however this person was being sneaky um they feel to need they feel the need to try and make up for it like I honestly feel like this person may be trying to um this person may be trying to suggest counseling in some way Aquarius energy They may be telling you don't break up our family or don't break up the family. Yeah, Ace of Wands. This person was definitely caught sleeping with somebody else. Ace of Wands energy. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like it may not even be the first time you've caught them for Cups energy and you're over it. Okay. I feel like, and I also feel like you were in a, yeah, top of the deck devil card. Okay. So this is somebody who, who has done this probably multiple times this is someone who this person may even be telling you that they're a sex addict or that they have a sex addiction okay you may find that as an excuse but you know who's to say <clears throat> let me see can i find a different oracle um this person may be telling you that hey they want to get help or hey they're trying to get help they want to get counseling because they they recognize that what they're doing is not right okay you may find that or think that they're using that as an excuse i feel like you are tired of acting like everything is okay in front of your friends okay in front of you guys's personal associations or whatever i feel like you're just over it okay i feel like you're over it cancer energy devil card here capricorn energy <clears throat> Clarify online. Clarify online. Okay. <laughs> wow. So this person, so you could have caught this person in like online chat rooms. Um, you could have caught this person on like online dating sites. Um, I feel like this person was using social media inappropriately. Okay. They could have been telling you that, Hey, I'm busy working, but in actuality, okay. I'm gonna say this one more time. Last night I did a reading where I felt like people were dealing with people who are not being honest about their sexuality. I feel that again today. And it's not because of 
just because it's two men on the card. That's not it because if um, if other cards would have been out here, then I wouldn't be saying this. But with the devil card out here and the deception card out here, I feel like somebody you may have found them in like same sex male chats or you may have found same sex male conversations happening. Um, this person could have been saying that they were working all the time, but actually they were using, they may have been online dating, but I feel like there is something here that suggests that what you found out or what you may find out about this person is that this person may be bisexual. Okay. You could have even seen it because this is a woman in a wedding dress looking in at two people getting ready to kiss. Okay. Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy, double Taurus energy. Um, no, this eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. This five of Pentacles is Taurus energy. Um, but I feel like this person was using, um, social media inappropriately. Okay. Somebody that's using it inappropriately. Money could have been an issue in your household, but this person is supposedly working all the time with this five of pentacles. But if nothing else, you just felt abandoned in this connection. You, I feel like you got married to this person because you wanted to do life with somebody, but in the end you felt ab ab abandoned in this connection. Yeah. Four of pentacles. This person was holding back from, I, I, I listen, listen, I feel like this person was very much struggling with who they are and, and being honest about who they are. I feel like they struggled with it. The moon card, cancer energy, nine of swords. They actually struggled with this. Okay. I feel, I, I feel like when I look at this, this is somebody that is like pleading with, okay, how do I go about this? How do I tell this person this? How do I overcome this? I not, I necessarily don't want to be like this. Okay. But I feel like you felt like this person was holding back from you. Maybe not only monetarily, but just in a relationship standpoint or an emotional standpoint. Okay. I feel like you saw some things about this person that you don't, that they don't know that you saw. Okay. So again, you could have saw, saw text messages. You could have saw online DMs. There's things that you saw that have indicated. Um, and this is the second time this has come out. Same tarot deck, but different Oracle. Same kind of message though. Okay. So, um, I feel like in your heart of hearts, when that queen of cups was over here, when it, when it, when I said top of the deck, bottom of the deck, queen of cups, you know, in your heart of hearts, your gut is telling you your intuition has been talking to you. Okay. Your intuition has been talking to you. Let's get a little bit more. Four pinnacles, Capricorn energy. Okay. Message of concern. You've read something. You've read something. You've seen something. Could have been a text message. Could have been some kind of email. Um, could have been some kind of DM on social media. But you've seen something that has concerned you. Okay. You, you've come across some kind of information that has you concerned. Okay. Coffin. Wow, bad health. Mm, mm, mm. Child. Concern. Mm. For some of you guys, okay, I'm not going to jump to conclusions here on this because I, I, you know, I hate to say certain stuff because this is general. It, it's not for everybody. It doesn't, re it shouldn't resonate with everybody, but it definitely resonates with somebody, okay? Some of y'all could have a child that's sick. Okay. Um, a child that's not in the best health and you're thinking about, okay, I need to have all my energy and focus on this child. Okay. You may be concerned about the passing of this child. Like, I feel like there's somebody here who's, who has a child that may be terminally ill. Okay. And you're just like, Hey, I don't have time to be fooled up with this other crap that's going on with my partner. I need to be focused on this child. Okay. I need to be focused on this child. Clarify coughing and concern. 
clarify coughing and concern. In this instance, however, I feel like um, with the Queen of Swords coming out on top of that Libra energy, Libra Virgo energy, or just any air sign, I feel like once again, it may not even be like a real death, okay? But to me, could be dealing with a Scorpio here with this death card, coughing card coming out. Um, I feel like this person may be concerned about you cutting them off because of whatever message that 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 you've come across i feel like they fear you cutting them off or cutting them out they're concerned about that cutting them out of your life and and not only your life but this child's life i feel like you're in a very angry place right now for whoever i'm talking to for wands something came out about somebody's relationship something came out you may have seen a message where this person told is telling people that or told this person that they're leaving that they're leaving this, this commitment, that they're leaving this, this foundation, that they're leaving this relationship. Okay. Four of Wands, Aries energy, chariot card, cancer energy. Also, this person could be concerned because you might've told them that you're leaving this house, leaving this commitment, leaving this foundation. You're leaving this. Okay. Yeah, card behind that, five of swords. Five of swords. I feel like you told them, definitely children involved here. A lot of fighting and chaos here. Five, five, five could be significant um, in some way, okay? But I feel like there's a lot of fighting and chaos in this family dynamic. Clarify bad health and child. <clears throat> Clarify bad health and child. Yeah. Intuitively, you know something. Intuitively, some of you may fear or may think that there's something wrong with your child. OK, medically wrong with your child. OK, Queen of Cups out here, the high priestess. This is somebody who intuitively knows it. OK, intuitively knows it. Queen of Cups, Gemini, Cancer Energy or just any water sign. You may fear that the imbalance that's going on. Okay, so I feel like you try to keep things as normal and as stable as possible for your children. But if this isn't something that is physically like a physical illness that you may be worried about, intuitively you you may know or or are worried about the fact that the imbalance, the back and forth, the the unstableness of this connection is doing harm to your children. Okay, two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. And you may intuitively know that. But I also want to say that I feel like for some of you guys, you think or you have a gut feeling that something is not right when it comes to a child. Now, I want you to because I'm not. For some of you guys, some of y'all know something's not right when it comes to a child. In this dynamic and. I feel like you go back and forth with this, like, okay, this, this really can't be happening. I'm maybe I'm over, I'm being oversensitive. Um, I feel like some of you guys try to explain it away. So you go back and forth, but your gut and for whoever I'm talking to, you know, who I'm talking to you, your gut is telling you otherwise. Your gut is telling you otherwise. For some of you guys, some of you have a real life devil around you. Okay. A real devil. <clears throat> An angel message.
but I'm going to get more information. There's something that you need more information on, okay? There's something that you need more information on or something that you need to gather more information on. There's something that you need to be asking. There's something that you need to be asking, Page of Wands, before you make this move. Some of you feel trapped. Six of Swords. Some of y'all are really fucking moving, okay? I feel like this is a mother. This is a mother. This is a mother. This is a mother with children. I feel like Six of Swords, Aquarius Energy, Eight of Swords, Eight, Eight, Eight may be significant. Uh, Gemini Energy, Eight of Cups. Before you make this move, there's something that you, there's some more information that you need to get. Could be pertaining, like I said, to, to your children or about a child. Okay. For some of you guys, some of you guys are actually like this. Some of you guys are actually. <sighs> some of you guys will risk jail time to remove your children from this, from this dynamic. Some of you guys will risk jail time to remove yourself and your children from this dynamic. I feel like you need to get more information about child laws. What you can and can't do as a custodial or non-custodial parent. Um, <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Before you make this move, Journey just came out again. I mean, you know, this is journey. Definitely something's coming to an end here. Definitely something's coming to an end. Six of swords out here. The chariot against the four of wands. That's somebody leaving. Five of wands. We see the conflict in this person packing up their car, leaving. Eight of cups. This is somebody walking away. Scorpio energy. Eight of swords. You feel somebody here feels trapped, but, but with all the other cards around it and what's going through my mind right now, I feel like somebody is willing to risk going to jail to remove themselves and their child because they know something is going on from this dynamic. And this is saying you need to get more information before you make this move. What you can and can't do. What could happen if you do something that you're not supposed to do. Mm. So Gemini, I hope this reading is helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.